In a land of myth and a time of magic, the destiny of a great kingdom rests on the shoulders of a young boy. His name, Merlin. Hi, nomads, party people, and strangers everywhere across the internet, and my name is V, obviously. And back on topic, we are talking about Merlin's episode of The Labyrinth of Gedref. Now, for those of you that are hearing music in the background, I'm doing this because this is not a, tip a typical review for me. Like I did when we were talking about the episode of Mordred, this is just me talking to you guys on a level that I don't usually do for a weekly retrospective series. And that is me getting on a personal level with you guys that I have more so than I did with the mythology of things. And this, hit, this episode kind of hit me on two different levels for myself. The first thing was the entire episode being basically a story of redemption for killing something and did no wrong. Why is that personal for me, as I adjust the camera a small bit? Well, to put it bluntly, I am an animal rights activist. So during the initial scene where it was the character of Arthur just murdering a unicorn creature of any kind that did nothing wrong to the ecosystem was completely on its whole, its near extinction sort of thing. That hit me in a level that kind of really got me in a pissed off mood more than when people kill off a lot of different things that are non-animalistic. People that kill off lions and rhinos and just mutilate elephants. That is something that hits me in a way that not a lot of things do, as I talk with the camera again. And when the matter became a little bit worse as the episode just continued on from the opening to just show that they mutilated the dead corpse of the animal to just have it as a trophy for the kingdom of Camelot because it's a magical being because it has so it has no feelings if it's mutilated. That made me feel a whole lot worse where I was just like, you know what, if there is a curse, I hope you all die. That is literally how I felt throughout the entire episode. You mutilated this beautiful creature that did nothing. You can die now. You can honestly die. As for everything involving the following part of the episode, we hit on the second thing that bothered me, which is of how to be a right human being for those that are suffering. See, this is why I don't like doing things where I'm not really in co really in like a nice bla blazer, button-up shirt, or any kind of thing like that. So, it's just kind of, it's just kind of get me in the serious space that I don't really like going into. Where I'm not even, I'm not even wearing my trademark black scully or black fedora. I'm that serious where I'm not even wearing a damn hat. Why am I saying saying like that though? It's because this entire episode, while during this whole you killed something that didn't do anything to you, so you suffer for what you've done storyline, also included elements of whether or not to save people for actions that you have caused. And I've seen I've seen that shit happen a lot in my life, where people literally set fire to various people's homes made sure people were homeless while robbing them, beating them, and doing all this stuff. And as soon as the tables were turned, where they were just moderately in a squabble and were trying to either help someone out to restore their karma or just make them suffer, I kept seeing that notion where the character of Uther was the person that was like, let's first do the smart thing and be sort of rationalizing for our people, which people normally do in those kind of scenarios, which makes me sick. And then as soon as the situation got it, so you either save the people around you or you're pretty much screwed out of everything, you instead chose the selfish route to make sure everyone else died because of some selfish antithesism about your own mentality. And that was so disgusting for myself to see from this whole, whole series that on a personal level, I couldn't really sit down and actually review it on a smart level that I usually do for the other episodes. I'm not even being that eloquent, I'm not even being that thought, thoughtful with what I'm saying. I am honestly just 
emotionally disgusted by various events throughout this entire episode where I don't feel like I can do a full-on review of this like I could with the episode of Mordred later on. I'm literally stuck in a hard place where I either can do a review of this, but it will be very anger-filled, or I can do it, but I would have to sacrifice my own personal gripe with things and make it less than accurate for what I want to say about this entire episode as a whole. So in general, consensus of it, I will just leave it up to my sister Jasmine to just say, say this. Should I really talk about this episode as I want to? Or should I sacrifice what makes me myself and just talk about it as a whole, even if it doesn't involve me as a full-on person? Because I can't see any other way around it unless someone from the family gives an opinion on this one episode. Because I, I honestly can't bring myself to make it, it go either way. But to make up for it, though, I'm going to re pre-record the next episode for you guys of To Kill the King. Because in that episode, we actually have a choice between killing Uther now or waiting later. And that's kind of one of my favorite moments in the first season. So I'm going to be staying up late to re-watch that and then film that for you guys. Just to make up for this episode. Anyway, though, take care.